Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Factorio Workshop. As always, I'm here with Zuri. Greetings. And, uh, and yeah, so today we're going to go over a build submitted by Punk Pensioner. And uh, this is essentially like an on-off switch to transition between your solar accumulator power into steam engines if your accumulators get below 10%. Uh, so... To kind of elaborate on that a little more, and, and it may not have made too much sense. Essentially, uh, you hook this up. So, so how this works is this right here, this pole is uh, hooked up to your main power. We're assuming right here that this is, or sorry, um, to to your steam engines. So, so this pole here hooks up to your steam engine backup essentially, and then over here, your pole and this accumulator is hooked up to your main power source, which um, what this is designed for is solar and accumulators. Uh, right now we're using steam engines, so just, uh, what we'll explain in a second how we're doing that, but in the broad scheme of things, what this is supposed to do is in the day, it shouldn't really be on, um, because your solar should be taking over, um, but at night, when your accumulators get low, if they happen to get below 10% for some reason, um, then this will kick on and turn on your steam backup power. And, uh, and yeah, do you want to go over any of this, Zuri? Or you're having some lag issues, I think? I'll, I'll try to cover some of it. Alright. Um, it's a set reset switch in this sort of way. So this one, when this one hits 10%, the steam engines kick on, but this one's only only powered if your main bank hits 50%. And this is the one down here that's actually uh, the main bank accumulator. Mm -hmm. Because this one gets disconnected once the main bank's over 50%, if I'm reading this right. Yeah, once it hits 50%, this is disconnected. Right, and then turns this off. So, uh, there's a nice little indicator here. Um, each light is 10%. We have 10 lights, and it does, uh, it's red, and then it kind of turns yellow as it goes up and turns green when it's full. Um, and essentially what we're doing is, again, since we don't have solar and accumulators, Zuri built a nice little clock over here. Um, and this set of steam engines right here is essentially simulating a very quick day-night cycle. So when they're off, um, that is simulating the night cycle when you your accumulators would, you know, be on and then and then get low. And when they're on, that would be the day cycle when the rest, when your solar, you know, kicks on and, and takes over. So we have other power, obviously, powering stuff. Um, but so let's say right now these are on. So it just turned day and this thing, um, these are running, right? So we're still kind of at a deficit, but this should be charging. If you mouse over this power pole, you can see A equals, or A10. That means it's 10%, right? And these have now turned off because we're at 10% um, or higher. And it, I think it would very slowly charge. But, uh, and then the night cycle, you know, the imaginary night cycle just kicked on because these turned off. This dropped to 9. Um, and it will slowly, I think, drop down to 8 and, and keep dropping. Uh, and then when these kick on, it'll go back up again. So it's actually pretty straightforward. It seems to work pretty well, aside from what you mentioned, Zuri, um, where essentially this has to, like, be 50% for this to actually kick off, and then vice versa. Yeah, that may be a problem with the fact that we're not using solar. But uh, this, I've seen lots of designs like this, actually, and one of my favorite steam plant control designs is still my analog system. Oh, yeah. I'll have to get you a link to that so you can put it in the video description. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, we will add that to the description. Good, good idea. And and I mean, I think aside from from this little issue, and, and it could just be an issue with our stuff again because we're not actually using solar and accumulator power. Um, I think it's pretty good. I mean, aesthetic wise, it looks nice. I like the actual indicator here, and uh, it does seem to work. So. So yeah, essentially at night, if you're... Now, it doesn't, just to clarify, in case people are confused, 
it doesn't kick on automatically at night, right? It only kicks on if if your power source, which, which would be like accumulators, right, get below 10%. Okay, so it's just kind of like a backup to your night power, because um, you just hook up this to your steam power backup, and uh, then it turns on and off based on the percentage, which you can see while mousing over this. And it will obviously go higher than 10, it would go up to 100. Um, we're just barely, barely producing enough power to like charge it super slow, um, so that's why it's not really actually getting past 10. But uh, but there you go. I think that's it. Do you uh, do you have anything else to add, Zuri? Uh, nope, not really. Keep them coming. All right, fantastic. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, or submissions, would be great. Leave them down in the comments. Uh, the link for this setup right here uh, does not include the Steam engines. This setup right here will be in the description as well as hopefully a link to the setup Zuri referred to his analog system if he can find that and uh and yeah there you go so until next time we will catch you later later <laughs>